Well, I gotta say, my friends, Lesu just came out. No, I did not sneeze. Lesu just came out uh, with two hydraulic all-metal skid loaders. I've known about these for months, and I knew that if I brought in one uh, and put it together, everybody would want to see the other model as well. So, being the crazy RC fanatic that I am, because lately I've been really focused on the 124 scale and the uh, 118th scale, indoor trail course uh, with my uh, smaller trucks and the whole collection and doing competitions and all that stuff you can check that out on my other channel RC Sparks TV uh, but every piece of equipment I had to work on it that would be heavy enough to move any dirt uh, is, is really too large and I thought if I had a friend come over they can go ahead and, and you know kind of try it out on the course with me as some of you can see I have quite a few RC's that we all have fun with here uh, just because the hobby is so great. Let's do a double unboxing uh, and see what the differences is because this is wheeled, this is tracked. Viewers of my show know that I have a full-size radio control skid steer and uh, I'm excited to be able to use this with my son uh, or my friend. So let's open it up and see what kind of build we're getting into. All right, we get to discover it together. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Uh-huh. I can see the models are different right here. The LT5 114th scale and then the LT5H. Yes, a dual build, two at once. Can he do it? Yes. These are the RCs you were looking for. Now, granted, I do understand these are very, very expensive. It took an arm and a leg and me donating a kidney for me to get these. But I am a big fan of their products, even though they do have some hiccups. One thing I've noticed about Lesu as a company is that when there is an issue, they go through to great lengths to fix it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Na, 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 na. The dual drive system and brass weight up front. How heavy? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a full pound, but it's pretty close. There's the transmission and the brushed motors on there. You can see it's been cut out. This one must have a drive similar. Look at this. Is it the same motor? Because there are differences already I can see. Look at this. In the two cans there's a difference. But it doesn't look like there's a difference in size. Oh my god. There's so much innuendo in the RC hobby. I gotta tell you. So that's interesting. What else do we see? There's the bucket. That's the bottom of the bucket. This is the bottom of the bucket. Oh, here's the wheel. Cool. Come on, focus. There we go. So it's already pre-assembled. It's a very soft rubber. Let me see here. Wow, it's gorgeous. It looks so good. Okay, so four of those. What about the tracks over here? Aha! And so, the one thing I'm wondering, and this is why I brought in two, even though they are a premium product, don't get me wrong, I love all RCs of all budgets and all sizes, um, but when you're getting into metal and when you're getting into hydraulics, it's very, very difficult to come across uh, inexpensive ones. But here we go. This is what I was wondering about the tracks. That's a great tread on the outside, but one of the things that suffer uh, from tracks, and here I've got plenty of experience with tracks over the years, even the other brands that have come out with ones more recent, is on the inside it tends to slip under torque. So I'm interested to see if that happens with this one. You know, and that'll be good for us to experiment with. A lot of people are always, you know, kind of upset when I bring in premium products like this. And they're like, why don't you do more affordable stuff? And really, it's so I can test it out as well. If I can do it and test it and see if it works, then I can tell you if one day you want to, you know, save up and get it, which one works the best, you know. And, in my, and that's a personal opinion. And things change all the time. But at least you have more education than you would have if you're just looking on the internet. Wow, this is going to be the back of it. I saw these unpainted on the Lesu uh, China Facebook page. That's what it's called. And uh, it, they were gorgeous unpainted. Look at that. 
already wired and done with the motor. That, oh, sorry, what you guys are looking at, I'm so used to doing these uh, where you guys might not have seen it before. What you're looking at is this is the brushless outrunner motor. Um, and this motor turns a pump that's right here. This is the hydraulic pump. Uh, and this is the valve block right here with these servos. These servos open and close the valves that are behind this plate, which allow the, um, the fluid to flow in and out uh, of the pump. So we'll have to hook this up uh, to some more hoses and whatnot. But that is super, super cool. Is this the only layer? Is that all of it in one? Let me see, I wanna to try to lift this out here. Come on out of there. Is this, give it up! <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that is it. It is, there's only one layer. That is incredible. And look at this, what they actually have instructions now. <gasps> No way! <laughs> awesome, all the motors, everything. So basically, I'm gonna lay this out instead of just babbling on here so you guys can have a look at what's in each kit. There you go, all done the way you like to see it. The way I like to see it as well. Neat and organized. When I do a build, I find being organized is the best thing you can do. Lay out every piece, make sure you have all the parts. I love the fact that Lesu actually individually uh, wraps every part that's necessary. Keeps all the oil and stains and whatever off of it. I always make sure to recycle all the plastic so it can go back to wrapping more RC parts later. So there's the motor and the block on that side. Here is the chassis. Here are the hydraulic rams. And here are the lifting arms. The wheels, like I mentioned, they are very sticky, which is going to help uh, aid in traction. And then there is the uh, wheel adapters that are brass and weighted. Here is the small hydraulic tank. That's where the oil will be going and returning to. Here's the pivot points. Here's the teeth for the bucket. They come pre-painted black, I guess. Here's the coupler, which will couple, like take on and off the uh, bucket from the arms. And then of course the two-piece bucket, which I think is one of the really cool features about this model right here is that it's going to be able to open from the bottom and grip things as well. I wonder how well it will grip. I know you'll be able to do dumps, and, and but you should be able to pick up logs with it too. <laughs> I'm talking about the skid steer, I'm not being dirty. <laughs> Here's the cab section, this is probably going to be the forward section of the window. And then the two doors on either side. I really like the glass. Even though it's got that green tint to it, it kind of adds that 80s space age look um, that'll really kind of set this whole skid steer off. Now, so that's the wheeled one. Look at these. This is for the wheels to go through and the axles, I'm assuming. Important, those are brass, nice and heavy. On this side, I unboxed the tracked one. And what are the differences? Well, here are the two tracks, and then you get a whole bunch of rollers. Just like if you guys watched when I did the excavator. And then this is going to be uh, for the idler gear, probably for tensioning. And then there are the two carriages. And then from that point back, as you start to look into it, as one would expect, there's not a whole lot of difference. It's really just the drive line, right? So again, you're still gonna get the speaker. There's the ESC. Is there only one ESC here? Yep. So however that works is gonna be revealed. But what do you think? Let's build two at once. And that way, double the pleasure.